Well, what's up, Wealthy Wallet crew? It is life update time. So, life has been hitting me in the head with like bushels of lemons, like literally packs of lemons. Anything they could throw at me, they have been throwing at me. But you know what? I'm about to back. All right, guys, I cleared the $20,000 hurdle this week. Yes. So, Navient as of Friday. I don't even know what date it was. It was just somewhere in June. The end of June was $19,788.65. So next year, July 27th, we'll be paid in full. And I'm making a stretch goal for myself that I'm going to save that extra 2000 dang on dollars. So we can do it in June. Because I want it gone. Gone. Like for real, for real. Gone. Y'all, I am so full of energy. It's like you would swear I had sugar and I have not. I think, oh, let me think what I had for breakfast. I had Mexican. Okay. So no, haven't had any sugar. And I'm drinking water. Hmm. I'm just that hype. I am ready to be done with it. Guys, I swear, this week... Someone hit my mirror on my car. Thankfully, it was the driver's side mirror. And last week, someone hit the, the mirror with the camera on it, which was the passenger mirror. Rock popped up, hit my windshield, cracked my windshield. Um, Just having a rough time. <laughs> and people tried to try me at work. And it was just, it's just been a rough week. It has been a rough week. I had a presentation. And it was a public, uh, uh, not a public speech, um, presentation for a class that was teaching us about how to teach people. And somebody m mistook their assignment for my assignment and started teaching my assignment. And so the person, the instructor who was leading the class was like, okay, how about you do the second part? Well, the thing is, I only studied the first part because they said your presentation's only 15 minutes. So I am trying to rush during lunch and study the second part. And I delivered the second part, but I was winging it. The only critical judgment I got, thank God, and I really appreciate it, was you talk too fast. <laughs> Y'all, that's the cheerleader in me. That is 100% the cheerleader in me. I talk fast and I know it. I try to slow down for the camera and I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I hope you all are okay with this. I did get a, a shout out from the person who accidentally did my presentation as their own. Um, she, you know, apologized on her behalf, which I appreciated from her and said, you know, it's, I understand you were just trying to uh, fill in your time with the information that uh, you could, but you probably did like me and only prepared the first half of the presentation. I was like, exactly. So made it through that, got my certification, so I'm still good. <laughs> Other than that, guys, I have been, let me tell you what I've been appreciative of this year, this year. really low electricity bills, which I've been shocked about. My electricity bill is usually around two, three hundred dollars around this time of year. And for some reason this year, it's only been in the hundreds. And I think it has to do with the fact that my husband changed out the air conditioning thermostat on this floor. And then upstairs, we replaced that air conditioner for an energy efficient one. And now we don't run as much um, the AC doesn't run as much and it hasn't, doesn't have to pull as much. So our bills have remained really low. I have been working on systems and I've been doing pretty good, pretty good. Y'all, I'm really bad at some stuff <laughs> and I really need to work on it. But, um, I'm trying to get more efficient at systems and I'm going to tell you why I'm trying to get more efficient at systems because you know how you say um, when you get home you're so tired you have nothing you don't have enough energy to do things and all that kind of stuff so I try to I try to create basically a checklist and in this checklist it's got all the different stuff that I need to do throughout the week um, everything from 
clear out the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, basically run it. Wipe down the kitchen counter, sweep kitchen floor, empty kitchen sink, um, clean the downstairs toilet, clean the upstairs toilet, clean off the counters, all that kind of stuff. So I got a big old list of this stuff. And my goal is to fill in as many of these bubbles as I can. Some of these, some of this stuff won't be filled in constantly due to the fact that it's like water the plants. You don't water plants every day or wash your sheets once a week. Um, yeah, so that stuff doesn't get filled in all the time and clean the tub and stuff like that doesn't get filled in all the time but it kind of helps me out a lot and then I have a second one because I was watching a YouTube video about motivation that my friend had sent me and they were saying you have to have a weekly goal so I have on here um, progress toward weekly goal and I have to fill in the bubbles y'all this week was a straight fail is right above the ones that are marked you see how it's blank right there straight fail I was on the verge of tears all week because I was so frustrated so um this one has my routines I get up at 4 30 every morning Monday through Friday workout before I do anything else y'all y'all see these arms trying to come back um yeah so I have to do my workout every morning I try to meditate every morning before I go to work um one of my goals is to read like 10 pages progress to a goal do my gratitude list and discuss you know whatever my my course is for the day i'm reading the magic which i don't have in here i will leave a link down below what it is it's run to burn the secret and i'm not i'm on the fence about the secret um but it the gratitude itself i'm 100 percent in with so the major majority of the book till you get to the end is about gratitude and appreciating things and being grateful and through that it creates a lot of positivity in your life so if you all have noticed that i've been on like bubbly and that kind of stuff it's from doing all of this so i do my gratitude list i share it with my friend you know um and we just have this accountability with each other. That helps out a lot. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to buy it for some other friends and set them up, uh, you know, like the rules around it and how we did it so that they can do it. They can partner read as well. Um, I'm working on my shop, of course. So this is a lot of stuff about my shop. Read, I have to read the chapter a day, balance YNAB, record my vlog, edit my vlog, and um, post it and then I have to script videos so you all know that on Monday now I have switched out for a season um, season one of my money series and basically what I am doing is I have to come up with a topic every week think about what I want to say think of and work towards that so as I'm working through my week I am coming up with the topic and then I'm thinking throughout the week of what exactly I wanted to say. So like this week, my YNAB, we are entering the end of the first half of the year. So I had my YNAB cut off and then I took it, printed it out, looked at my first six months. So I have to look at my goals, decide if my goals are in line with the way that I spend. And then from there, I have to decide with whether that goal is truly something I want to achieve and if it is how I'm going to achieve it so that's how I came up with the topic for this week and that's how I also came up with the next steps for this week so each week I have something to work on and I'm actually sharing it with you all so you all can work on it too but that's all that's going on over here guys I am going to go ahead and wrap this up because I have actually recorded four videos two for this channel two for my other channel and I need to edit everything because now I need to have it all posted at a decent time y'all this is the back of an envelope thing but that's where I wrote my balance for Navient so I can tell you all but yeah that's all that's going on guys I hope you all are having a great week until next time remember that the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one